you're thinking of moving to Cambridge, but you're wondering, how much does it cost to live here? Well, in this video, I'll be covering the cost of living from housing, shopping, commuting, and more, so stay tuned. Hello, I'm Ricky Everest, a realtor with Team Patty Brainerd in Cambridge, Massachusetts. A great city with an excellent quality of life that just happens to be a lot more expensive than the average American cost of living. In fact, Cambridge has the prestigious title of most expensive city in all of Massachusetts. But on a national scale, we're about ninth, being outranked by cities like San Francisco, Seattle, and New York. Of course, the biggest factor when ranking the cost of living in a given area is going to be the cost to buy or rent a home. Nationally, the median cost to buy a home is about $200,000, where the most expensive median cost to buy a home is in Manhattan, New York, where it costs about $998,000 to buy a home. In Cambridge, we're about four times the national median cost at a median home price of $800,000. That $800,000 price point is just the exact middle of the Cambridge market. We actually have a wide variety of styles and price points when you're looking at homes, from condos that are below $500,000 to mansions that are over $16 million. There are a lot of factors that are going to determine the price of any given home in Cambridge, but for now, to give you a brief guide on the typical prices you might find, say you're looking for a condo, if you're looking for a studio or one bed, the median price point you'd find would be $571,000. If you're looking for a two bed condo, it'd be $781,000. And for a three bed condo, it'd be $1.2 million. Let's say you wanted a little more privacy and you wanted to look into a single family, then the median price point you'd be looking at would be $1.6 million. And while we do have high home prices, Cambridge actually has the lowest property tax rate of any city in Massachusetts at $594 per thousand. But maybe you aren't quite looking to commit to a home right now, and you'd rather play the field by looking at a few rentals. Well, just like homes, rentals in Cambridge are also going to be more expensive than the national average. For example, if you're looking at a studio or a one-bedroom apartment, you're typically going to pay between $1,700 and $2,500 a month. If you're looking for a two-bedroom rental in Cambridge, you're going to pay around $2,500 to $3,100 per month. And for a three-bedroom rental in Cambridge, you pay between $3,200 and $4,000 per month. Also, once you've found that perfect apartment, a lot of the apartment owners are gonna ask you to pay between three and four months rent up front. And that can come in the form of first month's rent, last month's rent, security deposit, and a broker's fee. Okay, now that you've found a place to live, it's time to get some electricity, and more importantly, some heat so you can survive the New England winter. Electricity rates in Cambridge are about 25% higher than the national average at $14.91 per kilowatt hour. Gas rates in Cambridge are about 47% higher than the national average at $14.26 per 1,000 cubic feet. Now, if you don't want to calculate your yearly utility bill from those numbers alone, I can tell you that if you lived in an apartment that was about 850 square feet and you had a fairly new heating and cooling system, then your bill would be about $160 per month. However, if you have an older system, you can expect to pay about $260 to $300 a month. If you are moving here, make sure to ask the apartment owner or the homeowner what they are paying per month per utilities, and if for some reason they don't know, you can also just call Eversource. The internet prices here are typically between $58 and $70. Of course, they're going to be lower if you just want to watch old Jerry Springer reruns, and they're going to be higher if you want to practice your squad tactics on your 4K gaming machine. So, you got your home all set up, and now you gotta eat. So to show you some typical prices you might see at the grocery store, you can see that milk is about $3 for a gallon, bread is about $2.10 a loaf, and eggs are about $2.67 for a dozen. Now for some quick Cambridge tips, if you're frugal and wanna pay a little less than these averages, you can go shop at Market Basket, which is actually in Somerville. If you're more looking for convenience, you can shop at Star Market 
or Trader Joe's. And if you're a wealthy landed aristocrat, you can shop at Whole Foods. But you don't want to cook, and why would you when Cambridge has an excellent variety of restaurants, pubs, and breweries to choose from for your next meal? When you're looking at the average prices, and by average I mean the places on Google or Yelp that have two dollar signs, and if you're just getting an entree for yourself, you could expect to pay between twelve and fifteen dollars. But if you want to get a little fancier, maybe you're hanging out with a friend, or it's date night, well, for apps you could expect to pay between six and thirteen dollars, for an entree, that would be $14 to $20 per entree. In drinks, a cheaper drink would be $6, and something from a nice brewery would be $11. And if you didn't hope hard enough that your partner didn't order dessert, then that's going to be another $10 to $16, bringing your date night total to about $72 when you also factor in Massachusetts 6.25% sales tax. Now that you're fed, you need to get from A to B. And before I get into costs, you should know that Cambridge has bike paths on every major street and is considered the eighth best city in America to bike. Well, if you exclude winter, but we don't talk about that. Even if you don't own a bike, it's still fairly easy to get around in Cambridge. The public transit system that connects Cambridge and the greater Boston area is considered one of the best in the country. And if you plan on using it with any regularity, you should get a Charlie card that's free from any MBTA employee. The Charlie card will save you 50 cents on your subway passes and 30 cents on your bus passes. With the Charlie card, a bus pass will cost about $1.70, and a subway pass will cost $2.40. You can also get day passes to both for $12.75, seven day passes for $22.50, monthly passes for $90, and if you're a senior, you can get a monthly pass for $30. If you're a student, you can also work with your university to get a semester pass for 11% off. Now, some of you probably have no choice but to drive. The price for gas in Cambridge hovers around $2.85 per gallon, but lately I've seen it anywhere from $2 to $2.50 per gallon. Your healthcare coverage is going to vary depending on your employer and your carrier, but a recent Massachusetts study found that the average total monthly premium was $617 for single coverage and $1,687 for family coverage. Thanks for tuning in today. If you'd like more info about Cambridge and the greater Boston area, just like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you're thinking of moving to the area, feel free to call, text, or email us anytime. Have a great rest of your day.